Hello guys, I am back from another video, and today we're talking about What If Bell was a B.O.W. So, in the last video, we talked about how after they were informed by the guild to go towards that area, being the area where the facility basically came down, being the facility of the Neo Umbrella group, they decided, they decided to take that job as they started going towards that little area to investigate. So, after encountering some monsters that were infected by several of the different viruses, parasites, and many other things like that, and also some molded monsters, they defeated them instantly, but some of them were infected and had to be killed. So, because of this, they don't really know if they're actually monsters, but they think they're probably something else entirely. Especially to one of the monsters that they defeated, which that monster didn't really turn to dust, but became just like a regular old corpse. And that monster kind of released a, you know, a lost Plagas parasite, which tried to attack eyes, but thankfully she defeated it. And that, you know, that specific, you know, a um, monster would turn into a regular old monster core, but for the other one, it's infected with a different type of virus, which is the T. Phobos virus, so yeah, it stayed a corpse. So, after a while of trekking through that blasted forest, they made it towards the actual site. So, after defeating several monsters, or at least trying to defend themselves from these monsters, they made it towards Bell's little sleeping cell, or, um, you know, um, sleeping pot or whatever. So, after seeing the corpse of Dr. Nikitich, one of the Amazon twins, specifically the flat-chested one, which I think was named Tione? I think that's her name, so Tione would grab the lab coat because she thinks it's comfortable, and it does. So, she thinks that she's gonna keep it. So, when she saw a little, like, um, dashboard, that is supposed to be for controlling the, you know, the pod of, like, Bell. she started pressing every single button to the behest of Mr. Finn, aka the captain. After telling her to stop, the actual, you know, pod would basically open as Bell would see the dead body of Dr. Nikitich. After seeing the dead body of her as, well, um, you know, mother, which, if you don't know, Bell is basically, um, you know, doesn't have a mother. And so, Dr. Nikicic is basically just like a surrogate mother for him. And because he saw her dead, basically laying on the ground, just basically become a corpse, he would start becoming mad, as he would think that one of them, or at least any of the members of the, you know, Loki familia, must have killed her, as he would start transforming into a regular old, you know, um, tyrant. Which would start becoming, you know, Bell would just become taller as his body parts would start becoming hard as freaking stone. Bet would try, or at least Bet would try to fight him, but Bet would just be pummeled to the ground, instantly defeated. But when Bell saw Tione wearing the same lab coat as Tione, not Tione, I meant Dr. Nikitich, he would calm down as he would transform back into his almost normal form, but except, you know, he still has this discolored skin and that almost no moon like eye. But thankfully they're safe as as some of the BOWs in the area would start becoming scared because, you know, Bell literally has the dominant species of um, Plagas, which allows him to somewhat control the other Lost Plagas, you know, um parasites. Wait for a second. Sorry about that. So after the Los Plagas, well, based dumb BOWs would start running, some of the other BOW infected monsters would also start running. After Bell basically gets knocked out because he was super tired at the time, after getting out of that pod, they would start getting all of the stuff that they, well, gotten from that little, you know, expedition, including some papers and also some other materials including a mm, a certain type of uniform for Belle. 
Hmm, I wonder what it's supposed to be for. <laughs> so yeah, so after doing that, they basically left. So yeah, that's basically what happened last episode. And so, let's talk about what happens next. So, they would be brought back to the Rario city, or the actual city of Rario. After getting back home, specifically to their mansion, Loki would usually do her thing, basically just like started, you know, you know, just like starts grabbing, you know, <laughs> some of the girls of like, um, of the Loki familia as usual, just like grabbing some of their body parts to say the least. As when they saw all of the technology that they gotten and also some papers which, um, Finn is quite interested in trying to learn, especially when it comes to, you know, to the language. Because, after all, Arario has their own type of language, or at least in their world. Because of this, they don't really know how to, you know, speak or even understand those words being English, which are basically written into the papers. So, after seeing all of this technology, which, well, Loki is completely um, excited to see, but she would also see Belle. Basically all naked except for a towel basically covering his body, as she would see one of his eyes almost being a bit too fleshy to say the least, as she would say this, Eek, what happened to that boy? And why is he even here? I mean, as one of them would specifically say this, specifically, well, Rivia. Rivia would say this, well, when we first saw him, he was in that place weird ruins. We also saw some weird monsters. They were abnormal to say the least. As she would say this, why is that? As one of them specifically says this, being Finn, well, the monsters, they didn't really turn to dust and turn to monster cores. Some of them turned into just regular old corpses. As she would say this, what? Uh, okay, First of all, say that a little bit clearer. Second of all, what do you mean they turned into regular old corpses? So, he would explain that these monsters didn't really turn into dust and turn into monster cores. They would specifically turn into regular old corpses. As she would say this. So you're telling me those monsters didn't really turn into, into dust and turn into those monster cores, they just, just be dead? Just their complete body there? As for one of them, specifically eyes would say this, yes, I even saw this weird creature that was inside of that monster. It tried to attack me, but I thankfully slain it. It didn't really look like a monster, especially because it doesn't have a monster core, or it didn't really turn to dust. As she would say this, whatever the heck that thing you said about, or whatever that thing is, it's probably something else. I should probably tell Ra um, actually, let me just check out, um, what his actual name means. Ah, there we go. His name is Uranos about this. He would say, I mean, she would say that. As one of them specifically says this, being Tione. Hey, Loki, what do you think of my brand new, um, coat? It's actually quite um, comfortable, as one of them would spe specifically says this, being, you know, Finn. As Finn would say this, thankfully that guy, which I don't really know who's his name, but he definitely said something about his mother, and after seeing the corpse, or at least he pointed at the corpse, which he said that was his mother, he definitely got pissed at us. He probably think that he or at least we were the ones that killed her, as one of them would specifically say this, being Loki. Wait, that guy almost tried to kill you? You're joking. Besides, you're quite strong, so as one of them specifically says this, being Tiona, or at least that's that's her name? I think that's the um, big chest of the um, Amazon twins. She would say this. Well... Actually, she would say that 
but he kind of... Actually, not even kind of. He basically beat him down Beth to the point that he was about to die. As when she heard that, she would say this. What? She would be in shock after hearing that this boy over there basically killed or almost killed Beth. As Beth would say this. Unfortunately, she's right. Whatever that kid is, he's definitely not normal. Especially because of his weird ability. He almost... He... Whatever this, this kid is, he's like... Ugh, he just pisses me off. As one of them would specifically say this. Yeah. He's... Not even human. But he's definitely not monster. I mean... He's kind of similar to those monsters, right? As one of them specifically says this. Being... Wait for a second. Uh, Finn. Finn would say this. Yeah. He seems to have a similar ability to those weird monsters. The ability to almost roughen up their skin and somewhat regenerate. As when she heard that, she would say this. Did you say regenerate? As in... As one of them would say this, being Rivia. Yeah, when we tried to attack him, he didn't even get a scratch on him. He was like he was invincible. As she would say this, no way. That means as Loki would start looking at Bell. As she would say this, alright, let's bring him inside or something. Because I really need to process this. So, after bringing all of this machinery back inside, including the papers, which... Um, Finn decided to put in his, well, um, little, like, office. They would put Belle in one of the rooms, specifically, like, um, you know, a deceased member's room. The one that, you know, basically got killed in the last episode. So, after Belle was brought to that room, one of them, specifically the one that's now wearing, you know, Dr. Nikitich's, you know, lab coat, a.k.a. Tione was told to stay in that room because because she's basically wearing that lab coat she's now automatically technically you know Belle's new mother because after all after um or at least like in the last episode we talked about how like Bell after seeing like um Tione seeing or not I meant after Bell sees Tione wearing the lab coat of Dr. Nikitich he thought that Dr. Nikitich was there, and so basically calmed down. So, after being told of this, and also being told to stay there, in case of like, you know, basically Belle trying to destroy everything on site, so yeah, she was told to stay there for a while. So, after a bit, she would stay in the room for like a few hours, as she would say this. So, I had to be in this room with this guy. Uh, this is gonna be awful. Especially it comes to this guy. She would start looking at Belle as... This... Belle kid. She would start looking at him, saying... Huh. Looking up close, he's kind of adorable. Huh. As she would start poking on his cheek. As she would say this. Heh. Even though your skin is quite a bit rough, it has this almost soft-like quality. As she would start touching a bit of like the rim of his eye, or more specifically the fleshy part of his eye, the, the eye that basically resembles Nomu's eye, she would start um, feeling it as almost, almost kind of wet, as it seems to be covered in this almost mucus-like substance, as she would say this. Yeah, what is this thing? Ugh, it's almost kind of sticky. As she would start coming closer, as she would say this. Hey, um, you, um, guy, or whatever you are. Um, whatever you are, I'm not your mother, but please don't attack me or any of my friends or familiar members or whatever. Please don't. She would start whispering it into Belle's ear. As after a while, they were told to go outside now because it's finally breakfast. Not really breakfast, more like dinner. I actually meant dinner, so 
after basically having dinner and being too loud, Bell would basically wake up. And now we're going to be finally going into his perspective. So yeah, after Bell was woken up, he would say this. Mm, where am I? As he would remember everything, as he would say this. Wait, mother, where are you? As he would say this. Mother, mother. As he would start looking around his room, as he would say this. So, um, where am I? You start looking around as he remembers a little bit. Remembering that he's still a bioweapon, as he would say this. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. He would start remembering that he started bonding a little bit more ever since they were brought to this world with Nikitic, his mother figure. As he was told to go back into his cell, and he was never told what the heck, uh, why he wants... Well, but uh, like, he doesn't know why he was told to go back into his, well, sleepy cell, or, um, you know, sleeping pot or whatever. But, after seeing the corpse, he knows that she's dead. But, after seeing Tione basically wearing her lab coat, he kind of, well, kind of, he's still kind of blurry on his mind, but... He still kind of remembers that he's a B.O.W. and still has those viruses. So, after getting up from his bed, he would say this. Mm, it hurts. As he would start regenerating slowly, his arms and legs would start a little bit regenerating, but it's a slow and slow process, including his legs, his thighs, his calves, even his elbows, not really elbows, more like his knees, are still hurting. Almost to the point of literally almost like he's about to fall down to the ground. But he still has a bit of willpower and still keeps walking. So, he knows that he's naked, but he needs to find some clothes first. So, after a while of looking around, he would find... His old uniform. What do I mean by this? Well, his uniform was meant to be for, well, special missions in case that he was supposed to be dispatched to take down some enemies, like, for example, um, in case if he's, like, um, told to, like, fight, um, Blue Umbrella, for example. So, after you, after wearing this brand new, like, um, brand new, um, suit that he was one wear in case that he was finally going to be dispatched so after wearing this brand new suit which is kind of similar to like tyrants um suits from like every single like um you know every single game like for example the nemesis or something like that or any type of like um um tyrant like um you know bioweapon so after getting um getting out of that room he would start walking throughout the halls of the mansion. As after a while of walking, he would see a little um, stairway. After he gets down that stairway, he would hear lots and lots of noise. More specifically, the noises of people basically cheering and eating. After hearing this, Bell would almost feel like he wants to fight. But he couldn't, in case if there's much more stronger than him. So, he would mostly get out his large claws, in case if he needs to fight. So, he would start slowly walking down, as he would see a, um, how do I say this? Um, wait for a second. A lavish room, filled with so many trinkets, and the architecture almost resembles... Um, let's just say, like, um, European style, like, um, style, like, um, architecture, basically similar to that. But after a while of walking down, he would see many people basically just, like, drinking to their heart's content, basically eating. 
as you would see, Tione. The woman that was pretending to be his mother, as you would say this. Who are they? Wait, it's that girl. The girl that was wearing mother's... mother's coat. What did they do to her? He would start getting mad, but he would somewhat control it. He would start walking towards the little door where the little party is basically happening. As he would knock on the wall, as one of them would hear this being Finn. After Finn would basically um, hear this, he would tell everybody that he's going to be going outside because he hears a noise. After hearing that noise, um, he would start going towards that little area, being the other side of that wall. Being the, um, you know, as when he does look over, he would see Belle, basically in the corner. As he would say this, wait, um, wait, you're awake? As Belle would say this, who are you? And what did you do to my mother? Why is she dead? Did you do anything to her? As he would start getting out his claws, as his arm would start rapidly mutating, transforming into almost tyrant-like claws, as he would stop, as Bet would be in his sight. As Bet would say this, YOU! As he would start charging towards them, as Finn would say this, WAIT! As Belle would say this, YOU! As he would grab Bet by the leg, and he starts pummeling into the ground, just like, you know that um one scene in like the Avengers movie, the first Avengers? He would start like, um, you know, start putting him into the ground, almost similar to Hulk to like Loki, saying like, you puny god or something like that in like the movie, but except, he would say this, what the heck are you? Are you some sort of B.O.W. as well? As he would say this, what the heck is a B.O. what? As he would start pummeling him into the ground, more and more, as everybody would hear it, as everybody would come outside and seize Bell. As one of them would specifically say this, being Loki. Uh, hey, um, maybe we can calm down, as Bet would say this. No, just let me fight that guy. Whatever he is, he's definitely not human. As he would say this. Well, I am not human. I'm a fucking B.O.W. And as for all of you, what the heck are you? Especially if it comes to you, you... Whatever you are, you have fucking whatever these things are. As he would say this, do you mean my ears and tail? As Bell would say this, yes, exactly. That's either your B O W that's filled with a wolf or <sighs> whatever. <sighs> my head hurts. As one of them would start coming closer to him. Being Tione, as Tione would say this, Hey, hey, um, are you okay? As one of them would say this, being, well, Tiona, um, sister, please, um, just leave in. As Izuku would start, not Izuku, I meant Belle, goddammit. As Belle would say this, uh, who are, as he would look over, as she would see Tione, basically almost carrying him. Not really carrying him, more like, um, basically like holding him. As she would say this, um, are you okay? As he would say this, you're that girl who was wearing mother's coat. What did you do to her? As she would say this, I don't know, but as Belle would say this, did you hurt her? Did you? As she would, or at least one of them would say this, being Finn. Finn would say this, um, just calm down. Let's let's just talk, okay? As Bell would say this. <sighs> Fine, we can talk. But any of you lie, as his arm would start growing to immense size, as he would say this. I will have to kill you all. Got it? As everybody would just be scared, as Beth would say this. <sighs> Fine, let's just talk, okay? We don't really need to fight right now. Besides, I want to continue eating. As Bell would say this. I guess that's a deal then. So, everybody 
mostly the uh, main members of the um, Loki Familia, including Loki yourself, would be in their, well, specific office. As Loki would say this, So, um, what is your name exactly? As Bell would say this, Um, my name is Bell. That's what my mother called me. And I don't really have a last name, but my mother, her last name was Nikitich. So, just call me Bell Nikitich. As one of them would say this, being, well, Tione. That's actually a nice name, um, Mr. Bell. As Bell would say this, Mr. Uh, just call me Bell or something like that. As one of them would say this, being Finn. So, um, I have a lot of questions, including these papers. As he would, well, not really throw them, but more like hand it to him. As after handing those papers to Bell, he would decide to read them. As it's in English. As Bell would say this. Do you seriously don't know how to speak this? As one of them would say this, being Finn. Well, we don't really know how to speak that language, so... Wait, do you actually know that language? As Bell would say this. Yeah, it's in... Well, you know, English. As all of them would just be confused. As one of them would say this. English? Being one of them being, you know, Tiona, the big-chested one. As... Bell would say this. Uh, I guess this road is actually quite weird after all. Uh, anyway, after reading those papers, those papers were specifically documents about, well, several DOWs and also some of the viruses. After hearing about this, all of them would say this. So they're basically like little monsters? As he would say this. Monsters? What do you mean by that? Do you mean those B.O.W.s? As one of them would say this. Okay, first of all, what the heck are B.O.W.s in the first place? Because you keep handing that word around like it's just like hotcakes or something. Says Tione. As Bell would say this. Alright. <clears throat> Let me explain then. Wait for a second. Bell would explain that B.O.W. stands for Bio-Organic Weapon. As one of them would say this. What do you mean by bioorganic weapon? Says, well, um, Loki. As he would say this, bioorganic weapons are basically artificial, artificially made humanoids, or viruses, as they usually call them, or parasites. I'm one of these BOWs, but unfortunately, I'm at least somewhat conscious and not like those monsters. As one of them would specifically say this, so you're one of those, like, bio whatever the heck there are. As Bell would say this, exactly. And for our next question, what is it exactly? As one of them specifically says this, being Loki. So can you tell us about that, um, you know, those things? As one of them, or specifically, like, a few, like, random members of the Loki familia would bring in a piece of those, you know... Um, you know, um, computers. As Bell would just say this. Those are computers. Or at least some computer parts, so... Um, does any of you, or at least any of you, have any, you know, electricity here? As one of them would say this. Being, you know, Rivia. Um, we do have magic. As she would start producing electricity. As Bell would say this. What, what the... As everybody would just look at him, as they would say, Wait, you don't know what magic is? As, well, Bet would say this. You seriously don't know what magic is? As Bill would say this. Excuse me. There's magic here? As one of them would specifically says this. Yes, magic, as in, you know, mana and things like that. Says, um, um, wait for a second. Says Tiona, as Bell would say this. Ah, uh, God, this is gonna be confusing. So, yeah. Bell would keep explaining about some things about his world. As everybody would be told of this, they would say this. So, you're from a world where magic doesn't exist. As Bell would say this. Yes. 
as Beck would say this. So your world, or at least where you came from, is currently under siege, or more more specifically, you used to work under, or at least been created by this organization that was planning to take over your world, as Bell would say this, exactly, as Tione would say this, and you specialize, or at least you're a B.O. whatever you are, as Bell would say this, exactly, as Loki would say this. Interesting, interesting. So, because you're not from this world, I want to teach you then. And also some of my um, fellow members, or at least the people that are from this world and are working for me. So, why not join me and become my brand new f member of the Loki Familia? After all, I am quite generous. So, what do you say? Do you want to join? So, as Belle would just look at her and look at her hand, as this is going to be the end of this episode, sorry. <laughs> so, this is going to be the end of this episode. And, yeah, and before you guys leave, I want all of you guys to pick a ship, or I'm going to make a poll on who's going to be shipped with Belle. So, yeah. So, this is going to be the end of this episode, and so, I hope you liked the video, comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye